Hi guys, my name is Ray Prakash and welcome you all to Rodha. So again, I'm back with this numbers practice session here. Okay, and a couple of fantastic questions we'll discuss in this session. Okay, perfect cat level questions. Uh, let's look at this question like, this question says that if n is the largest multiple of 55 that can be formed by using all the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, just once, find the sum of the last three digits of n. Okay, so very good question, right? So it's a mistake prone question. Just try this question guys, if you can solve this question within 2 minutes and uh, but if you couldn't try, just try, try for at least 5-7 minutes, okay? That will build your thinking level and you know, will know where you are doing some any mistake in this, right? Just try it guys, okay? So, I hope you have tried this question and now let me explain the solution of the question, right? And before that, uh, again, this National Scholarship Test is back guys, okay? And it is every Sunday, uh, actually, uh, it, uh, a lot of people have won this uh, this Amazon vouchers actually in our group, huh? so they're very happy actually. We're winning the spikes on vouchers. <laughs> okay, okay, but, but this is great. This is a national scholarship test, and it actually gives you a very good uh, uh, way uh, ranking among the aspirants, right? Once you are reaching closer to CAT, we have this national scholarship test here. It is from 5 p.m. to 5:40 p.m. every Sunday. It is held. Last Sunday it was, uh, I think QA it was uh, last to last Sunday, then LRDI, then VRC and this again Sunday we are back to QA. And with this Amazon vouchers as well, right? In this festive season you can also enjoy with that. And actually your people won't uh, give much focus initially, but once they win they feel very good, right? And this is the small things that gives, gives you good confidence, okay? Uh, performing well in a, in, a, in a good test, winning some uh, prize amount, okay? All these things are quite important actually. And it gives you a good amount of confidence once you're preparing for any good exam. Okay, so so this exam and obviously right to so this this paper we we are we are prepared. It is basically moderate to advanced level. Okay, and uh, and basically it is free for everyone. Yes, uh, and moderate to advanced level. Okay, and uh, it contains questions a perfect cat level questions. Okay, we'll get a good cat feeling around. We experiment around between 24 to 25 questions. I expect in that in cat. And uh, uh, this is uh, this also we have the same day analysis. This is very important, right? So 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. We have same day analysis for this uh, because whenever I give a test, I always emphasize on analysis. That is more important actually. Okay, so uh, analyzing is very very important. So you can just enroll again the enrollment link. I'll put the comment in comment. I'll put the enrollment link and I'll pin it. Okay. Just enroll to that link so you'll get the uh, reminder message for this test also and reminder message for this analysis also right and also this uh, this analysis happens on uh, an academy and all the recordings are available right so if you're not there you can also watch it uh, later on so once you enroll to this link you can uh, watch it later on also okay so this is about national scholarship test for cat every sunday 5 to 5 40 this is quant again it should be LRD. okay so I'll keep you reminding this is very important guys. I want all of you to win max able to win this 500 rupees also and get that a small amount of good confidence before cat. Okay. Chalo then. Let's move to uh, our question. Right. This is a question guys. If n is the largest multiple of 55 that can be formed by using all the reads 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 just once find this out the last three reads of n. Okay fine. Look at this question guys, this question says that I have to form a largest multiple of 50, 55 using digits from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have to use 7 digits here, right? We have to use 7 digits here, right? So that 7 digits I should use here, actually, uh, should uh, I should basically use all the 7 digits here. That you should have clarity in mind, basically that will give me the maximum result, right? So basically I should use all those 7 digits here, first thing, okay? So I should use all the 7 digits here. Fine. Now, this it is a multiple of fifty five. That means if it is multiple of fifty five, basically, I I should break into two parts. Like it should be a multiple of five as well as eleven, right? Okay. Now just try to make maybe we can have formed two three cases straight away, right? So maybe this question can be solved in multiple cases. Okay. So let me make a two three cases straight away. Two or three cases, right? Let me make two cases for this. This is case one and case two. We'll we'll see. So basically 5 and 11, so once it is ending in 5, so that means the ending is a multiple of 5, that means it should end in 0 or 5. That's quite clear, right? It should end in 0 or 5 because it is a multiple of 5, fine? Then it's a multiple of 11, right? So if you remember the rule of multiple of 11, the difference at some sum of 
digits sum of digits at basically this alternate places okay alternate places right basically if we have this sum if we write 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 sum of this plus this plus this plus this and minus sum of this plus this plus this okay should be is it should be equal to 0 or any multiple of 11 okay that's how a number is divisible by 11 right so obviously uh if if i if i try to put some common sense here so i'll say that it is like 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 till 6 that sum is equal to 21 right sum is equal to 21 that means basically i am not going i'm never going to get any multiple of 11 like i can have if i take that difference that number can be 0 or any multiple of 11 like it could be 11 it could be 22 like that right but I, I'll, I'll not get anything more than 11 because the sum, it, sum is maximum 21 so how can i get the difference as 22 that is not possible right okay or a number more than that that means my fight is in between 0 or 11 okay now obviously the sum of is 21 right so 21 means i can't get 0 also because for to get that 0 the sum this this also should be x and this also should be x right the sum at alternate digits also should be x and some of this order also also should be x x minus x should be zero right but actually the sum will be 2x and its sum of digits will be 2x 2x can never be equal to 21 actually because 2x is an even number that cannot add to 21 the ones that cannot add to 21 that means i am only left with i am only left with 11 as a possibility right that means subtracting and adding uh, sorry adding the digits at alternate places that means its only possibility is 11 i should get that difference as 11 and how do you get a difference as 11 when you have sum as 21 when you when you have sum of six digits as 21 and you want that difference to get at 11 right so what you should get actually you should get 16 and 5 obviously right quite think of think over it guys when you have sum of digits as 21 okay and let's say to this alternate the sum is x and let's say uh, for example if we write here guys okay so let's say for this alternate if i add all the uh, digits at this or this place let it be x okay and if i add all the digits at this place let it be y okay so i know that x plus y is equal to 21 that is the sum of digits and then x minus y should be equal to 11 that's what it's all right that difference should be 11 actually so that means if you solve it you will get 2x is equal to 32 therefore x is 16 x is 16 then y is equal to 5 that means sum of this alternate should be equal to 5 and sum of this alternate should be equal to 16 right that concept should be clear in your mind okay fine now once you're clear with this right now now we can just solve this question okay let's solve this question now we are clear with all the proceedings and the all the concepts right before starting it's a very good question now let's uh, solve it okay so basically if if i know that it it has to uh, the sum of any alternate is 16 and 5 right so basically i should write my first digit at 6 for sure okay because i want the maximum number i want the largest multiple that means among 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 i have to start off with 6 i should start off with 6 here right once i start off with this start off with this 6 okay that means the possibility of getting 5 with one alternate was 16 and one alternate was 5 the possibility of getting 5 at this alternate is not possible, right? Because already it is 6. So it will the sum of digits will add add to 6 only, no? I'll keep some value here, I'll keep some value here, I'll keep some value here, right? The sum of digits will add and it should be more than 6. That means sum of this alternate has to be 16. Okay. That means sum of this alternate has to be 5. Okay? So that means sum of uh, sum of places of first, third, fifth, and seventh should be 16. And sum of place of second, fourth, and sixth should be five. Now, how do you get that sum of digits as five here? Right. So among zero, one, two, three, four, uh, and uh, five, six, how do you get sum of digits as five? Basically, I have to involve a zero, which be, otherwise I can't get five here. Right? So zero plus one plus zero plus one plus a uh, two plus uh, I think uh, sorry zero plus uh, one plus four. Yeah. Zero plus one plus four will give me a five as well as 0 plus 2 plus 3 will give me a 5 right that means in these places i am bound to fix uh, i am bound to put only two digits uh, three digits here in one case 0 1 4 
and in one case zero two three. Okay, fine. That means in the other places, what I should put actually. So in the other alternate for the sixteen, I should put the values as for definitely, definitely it should in. I told you that it should end in zero or five. That means zero is involved in both the cases for second, fourth, and sixth digit. That means zero cannot be at the last. That means again last should be five. So last five again I could fix it, right? That means for sure last one is five. So first one six is fixed, last one five is fixed now. Okay, by this logic, and if I move ahead, I'll see that I want to make it like zero one four or zero two three. Now if I want if I want to maximize the number, right? If I want to maximize the number again, so zero one four. Um, between zero one four and zero two three, right? Just think over it that I want to maximize the number actually. So for maximizing the number, the left side, the left left side should be uh, maximum value. So basically, after six and five, the next maximum value I'm left with four. Okay, that means four should be as left side as possible in the number to make it a bigger number, right? For example, if I put three here, it becomes sixty three lakh something, right? But if I put four here. It becomes sixty-four lakh something. Okay, so sixty-four lakh is a bigger number, right? That means for four, I should I should put four here. Okay, because I already have satisfied that condition. It only should be five and eleven. By putting by putting five at the end, it is divisible by five. And by taking care of the sixteen and five as a difference of alternate places, I'm taking taking care of that eleven also, right? That means I should put four here now. If I put four here, so all the larger numbers I should put on the left hand side, right? That means basically four, one, and zero. I should put at these three places. The so four I'll put here, one I'll put here, zero I'll put here. So get think about it, right? I want to maximize the number. I want to put the bigger digits on the left hand side. Okay. So basically, if I put zero, let's say sixty four lakh. Now if I put one, it means one thousand something, right? Something like that. If I put zero here, it is less than that value, obviously. Hey na? That means one I should put here. And similarly. For this values, I am left with what? I am left with uh, three and two. So for three and two, two, uh, three again I should put here and two I should put here. For the same reason, that the largest digit should be left hand side, right? This so number becomes what? My number becomes six four three one two zero five, and my sum of last three digits is what? It is seven now. So seven is the answer for this question. Okay, very nice question. Perfect cat level question. Will induce thinking level. Uh, it's okay. So I hope all your preparation are going very good, guys, for CAT 2020. Okay. Ah, uh, very few days are left. Extra work, very hard. Revise everything. Revise all the previous questions, all the previous concepts, whatever you studied. Okay. Trying to consolidate everything right now. Okay. Just try to revise as much times as possible. Whatever you we have studied actually. Ah, uh, give ah uh, alternate mocks now. Okay. And you will see a great improvement in this. Last few days uh, of CAT, I think last twenty days of CAT literally left, left right now. In this last twenty days, you see a great improvement of uh, in your paper, right? Because actually, the thing is that now you should not feel rustic, right? So in any exam like CAT, okay, you should not at all feel rustic. That's the main part, right? Rustic feeling, rustic feeling, not on it. That okay, I know this question, but strike not doing. That is very bad part, right? In CAT. So basically, that's why last thirty days, last twenty days, last ten days become very, very important because the multiple times you revise that that rustic feeling or that uh, that feeling of not striking at the right time will actually be minimized here. Okay, because quite common phenomenon, na? After you come to home, arey arey, you question to get me ho jata. Okay, why do anything? That's what right? the 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 lack of reason and practice, right? So that's why just revise it multiple times in the last twenty uh, days of CAT. Last twenty days, last ten days become very, very more, uh, very important for this CAT perspective, and then uh, give alternate day mocks also. Okay, so make sure that you give alternate day mocks. Don't overdo with mocks. Alternate day mocks is fine. Okay, even three weeks a mock is a uh, three uh, mock. Uh, sorry, three mock a week is a week is fine. Okay, so just give this mock to be uh, acquainted. Okay, and all the best for your CAT preparation. Okay, I'll again again be back in the next video with again some. Good questions. Thank you guys for watching.